Okay guys, so quick update on something. After posting a video showing the hooks that I use inside of here to hang some of my hoses, a lot of folks ask me if I'm using the Zero G hose, which I am, and this is their drinkable water hose. And I know there's a lot of videos circulating around YouTube showing how the inside of this hose is pretty nasty and gunked up and moldy. Our specific one isn't. It's still very, very clean on the inside. We haven't had any issues with it. However, just out of a, you know abundance of precaution, we're gonna go ahead and remove these hoses and go with these Flexzilla hoses. Got these off Amazon. And this was actually a suggestion from a couple of my viewers after seeing that video. I'm gonna keep the 25 foot section of the zero G hose inside just so we can use it for like a gray tank clean out or something like that, maybe even a spare hose, but we're not really gonna use it. We're gonna be using these new Flexzilla hoses. These are supposed to be really, really good, work really well and drinking water safe. And um, it's gonna be really interesting to see how they hold up in the long run. But yeah, so I got a 10 foot, a five foot and a 50 foot hose. And the 50 foot hose is gonna be the main stretch of hose that goes to the pedestal. Whereas the five foot hose and the 10 foot hose are what I'm gonna use with my clear source water filtration system. So basically gives me a way to connect everything very, very quickly and easily. But yeah, that's one of the changes that we're making based off of my viewers comments. Now the problem with these hoses is they take up significantly more room and that was one of the really nice perks of the Zero G. So just keep in mind if you get these hoses, they take up about as much room as a traditional water hose and you won't be able to put them on some of the hooks as easily as you might have been able to with your normal water hose. So just something you want to be aware of. Um, I'm going to run this one over here and I got another one right here which I can just st stow anywhere. That one's really small anyways. But yeah, they, uh, they do take up a lot more space for sure. This one specifically, because this is a 50 footer. But overall, not too bad. What's going on guys? So in front of me, xrayrv.com. These are mobile RV technicians that come out. Coachman actually hired them to come out and fix the gray valve on my RV. So if you didn't watch that video, go back and check it out. We have Aaron and John. Your name is easy because you have a tag on your name. But these two gentlemen are gonna be pulling down the underbelly section where the release valves are and Maybe it's a quick fix, maybe it's a replacement, who knows what it is, but definitely know it needs to be taken care of. I appreciate it, gentlemen. Yes, sir. No problem. Okay, so they have part of the panel down. The interesting thing is, is the panel is secured from the other side right here, so you can't just drop the screws to it. Sizable amount of sawdust in there. Yes, sir, there is. A little bit of saturation <laughs> down here, too. Really? So there's a little bit of uh, water buildup, or is it more like condensation build up you think uh, it seems like more condensation because it's towards the end yeah yeah over here in the front you can see all this is dry man that's crazy it's just at the lower part yep nothing dripping off the tank though uh no sir the tank looks clean right now we're right next to the valve and uh it seems all right but we gotta take it off and see exactly what it's doing does the tank feel hollow can you tell by knocking on it or something yes sir so that means it has been draining Yes, sir, it has. Okay, well, that's interesting. Okay, well, I'll let you to it. I hate to bug you while you're doing it. I'll come back in a little bit and see what we figured out. Yes, sir, no problem. Thank you. So, they're fixing that. That's a lot of sawdust that built up. That's it. Does it look like the, uh, the table's binding? Is it moving Does over it there? Move it? Just stopping it, and the valve's stopping. So, nothing. It's moving, but it's not fully extended. Gotcha. So there's some movement, but it's not actually opening up the, the gate. Well, actually, it seems like it's probably stuck partially open is what I'm guessing, because there's no water in the tank. Well, yeah, in a great uh, black tank, it, it could be something stuck in the valve. Yeah, you know? but on the gray tank, it's just water. And it's actually yeah. been like that since the day we got the RV, because I had noticed that that lever was just like that it didn't push in or pull out all the way or it didn't seem like it did i bet the um, seal is put in wrong you think the seal might have is it like a rubber gasket There's that goes around it rubber gaskets that go and if you don't get you have to pull those a 
apart. And if you don't get those right back right together perfectly, it's, it's not going to sli gotcha. slide in there and it won't slide in the middle. So the valve may not be bad. It actually could have damaged the seal, I guess, it, because of. It's sealed, yeah. Yes. That's like a little blade, a little plastic blade that shuts, right? Ah, uh, so it could have cut the seal or damaged yeah. it. That's just a guess. It's, so it's a hot hard. day and that wind feels good, doesn't it? That's okay. <laughs> but you guys probably do this enough that nine times out of ten your educational guests are right. Most of the time. Had to hop under here too so I could see what's going on. Yes, sir. There's the tanks. There's all the wiring going to the sensors on the tank. A lot of sawdust down here. Yeah. You know what's funny is I'm guessing, well, they put the bottom cover on before it really enters the main part of the assembly line. So I guess anything they cut inside. Yeah, everything they drill or cut inside falls down to the bottom. Is that the same with pretty pieces. much all RVs whenever you pop the bottoms? Yes, sir. All of them. Every single one of them. That's a lot of sawdust. Yeah. Good deal. That, that That's part of the problem sometimes, too. They like to build on top of the chassis. So when you have to move something or you have to get to something, you usually have to move four or five things just to get to it. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, so Aaron's got the screws off. A little bit of water in there. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna get all wet. That's part of the job. It's all plastic, so it doesn't matter if it well, gets wet. You can wet. see you had some debris in there already. Yeah. Will you be able to tell if it's the seal? Yeah, I'm trying to find out, but I can't even get the thing off right now. And before we started filming, they actually told me about some experiences they've had dealing with black tanks yeah. that I'm not going to share on this video <laughs> because there's probably kids watching. It's unfortunate. You know, this is something, this is a brand new RV. You don't want to deal with issues like this. It's good to know that there's folks out there who know how to deal with it and have done this before. Looks like he has his hand on something. Yeah, there's something. There's one of the seals. What in the world is it? Is it a human hand? No, I'm kidding. Something's blocking it, or blocking it open is really what it is. There's something in there. This is crazy. What do we got? I am dying to see. I'm going to zoom in real quick so we get a better view. And again, this is the gray tank, everyone. Uh, so. What? Is that a saw? So what am I looking at? I have no idea. Some type of tube. You know what though? That I've actually I've seen this on pictures in other people. I think this is what they use to mold the tank. This is like the blow mold tube. But this was stuck. Let me zoom back. You want to hit that that seal, John, to see if it's opening and closing? That is crazy. Yeah, this is essentially the mold. Whenever they make the tank. Oh yeah. Yep, now everything's working. So this was essentially just wedged in there. Yes, sir. It was closing that far. <laughs> so would you like us to re reattach this one or would you like to put the new one on? Does there anything that looks bad? Could you could you reattach that one just but make sure like the set screw and everything else is is tight? Because I've put some pressure on it to see if I could clear out what was ever in it. And I don't wanna yeah. I don't wanna take that one out and then we, we realize that we should have replaced it. What do you think? Sure, we can check the set screws. Um I mean, the seals the look good still. I don't see any damage on them or marks or... Okay. I mean, I would I would put it back just because, yeah. of course, that huge thing is because it put a damper in it. Yeah. Yeah, this is essentially how they blow mold yes, this sir. tank. And it broke off and they never pulled it out of the tank. So this is really an issue of the manufacturer of the tank. Not necessarily the RV, because there's really no way for them to know that this was stuck in there. No, sure. That's crazy. Yeah, and and uh, at how at X-ray RV we try to keep it as low cost as possible for you. So if you would like to replace it, you know we can replace it for you. But if the valve's still good, you know the valve's still good. I don't think there's anything broken with it as long as the cable hasn't pulled out at all and we're not loose yes, there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and throw the same one back in. All right, yes sir, you got it. I appreciate that. No problem. That is crazy though. Yeah, and there's absolutely no way we could have diagnosed this or figured this out unless you removed that. Yes. It almost makes you wish that they had clear tanks. <laughs> right? You I know? never thought about that. 
That's a good suggestion right there. That's crazy. Anyways, I'm going to leave him be. I'm going to let him get up there and uh, do what he needs to do to get that back in place, and we'll touch base when he's done. Okay, so they got everything reassembled up there. It was a pretty easy repair, really, and the fact is it only happened because that piece of plastic was missed inside of the tank. And I guess, depending on where it was in the tank, it might have been hard to actually find during the assembly process because it's a black tank. If it's laying in there, especially if it's not fully broken loose, then you might only discover it once this thing gets towed down the road 1,500 miles, makes its way to a dealership, and gets filled with water. It's hard to say, but Lord knows it shouldn't have been in there. Um, everything's working really good. How does the gray tank valve feel now? Does it feel nice and silky smooth? There we go. And it's going in all the way. That's what it should look like. That should have been the real indication that something was wrong during PDIs. They should say, okay, well, all the other RVs that come in, they're flush. Why is this one sticking out this far so essentially it was right here it wasn't closed completely because that little piece of plastic was blocking the hole so i was only able to move it like this i couldn't close it all the way now i can shut it completely and i just had them reinstall the valve that was in there because it was fine we had a new one but again it didn't really make sense considering this one just had a piece of plastic blocking it so everything's back in place I think we're good to go and he is going to do a really cool thing and sweep all the sawdust off of that i really appreciate that because i could probably build a birdhouse out of all that sawdust if i compress it crazy and all the sawdust also hold uh moisture and yep. mess up some system hey it's you insulation it man yeah. <laughs> hey look i even have some scrap wood under there you know what though? With the with the cost of lumber right now, don't throw that away. I'm gonna sell it on eBay. Okay, so now I am inside. I'm gonna open this up right here a little bit. Fill the sink up. There we go. We're gonna go check outside to see if the water drains. So we have some water in the gray tank. Let's pull the magical lever. And this is just tap water, so don't worry. Might not get much coming out. There we go. Looks like it's working. All right, so I definitely gotta give a big shout out to these folks. You guys arrived to the minute on time. I like one o'clock, that's what time we scheduled this for. At one o'clock, I got a call from the front desk saying we have some people here to, to come see you. It was crazy. That's in, in today's age where there's excuses around everything, why people are like just to show up on time is, is cool enough. And you guys have some really nice vans. I mean, I didn't know what to expect when you guys showed up. So X-Ray Mobile RV Service, they are, are you guys local only or do you have like nationwide? All of, about all of South Texas or Corpus Christi, Robstown, Kingsville area. Okay, so you're, if, if you're south of San Antonio and Victoria, let's say, then you can give these guys a call and they can come out and take care of you. Um, this isn't a sponsored segment or anything. They didn't sponsor any of this. They just did really good service, super polite, uh, cleaned up. They actually swept out the bottom area where all that sawdust was. They didn't have to do that, so definitely appreciate it. Coachman actually hired them to come out here to fix whatever the problem was with the pump super super easy not the pump i'm sorry the valve it's crazy first time you guys have seen that right yeah believe it or not though i have seen that exact same piece on facebook and some of the other rv forums so that's crazy that, that that's a thing i guess manufacturers really need to check the tanks before they send them out to the uh the rv companies completely agree my friends guys i really appreciate it super hot day i know you guys are ready to get in some air conditioning thanks again you guys did a great job thank you guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up We'll talk to you again very soon.